What's up everyone, how's it going? My name is Superlex and welcome back to another Minecraft Command Tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the slash effect command in Minecraft. So the slash effect command is pretty much just used to put any potion effect on yourself so you don't have to go through the trouble of actually making a potion. You can just do it through just typing in a simple command. So in order to do it, what you're going to need to do is open up your command or chat feature you're then gonna want to say or type in slash effect. Now, what this is, is it's, of course, it's telling the game that you wanna give yourself an effect. And you have two options here. We're gonna be clicking or typing in give because we wanna give ourselves an effect right now. And I'll be showing you what this option means a little later. Now, in order to give yourself an effect, what you're going to want to do is type in slash effect, give your name or at S, which is current entity, and then you're just going to choose an effect. So I want to give myself jump boost, so I'm going to type in jump boost, jump boost, and I'm going to press tab because it auto corrects it to the, or the full um, command. So then now what you're going to want to do is type in the duration or the number of seconds you want your jump boost to be for. So I generally like to have my effect forever until I die. So what I do is I just type in, t you know, just a one and then a bunch of zeros. And now the next um, thing you type in is going to be the intensity of your uh, jump boost or your effect. So I want my jump boost to be somewhere around, let's just say 25 because I want to try to jump over something high. And over here is how you choose if the particles show or not. True will make it so the particles are hidden while false, or or just leaving it not saying false will make it so there you'll see the jump boost particles. So now, if you look in my inventory, I now have jump boost, and we are going to attempt to jump on top of this fence. So keep in mind that this effect will not actually give you speed, it will only give you jump boost. So if I were to run like this, but then jump, it's like I'm jumping really high, but then all of a sudden I'm pretty much exactly the same way, or, you know, going the exact same speed. Now I almost died there, but as you can see, I am able to jump like a bunny now. Now let's say that I don't want to have this effect anymore, because as you can see, this can get quite annoying if you just want to jump over a simple one block height. So all you're going to want to do is once again go into your command or chat feature, type in slash effect, tab to autocorrect it, and then you are now going to say clear. Now this is now going to remove any sort of effect you now have on yourself, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to give myself speed uh, 10, let's say. I'm going to say true, and now as you can see, I now have speed, and obviously my jump is not increased but I can just, like I said, sprint like this, and I can go really fast. Like, let's say I want to give these pigs jump boost for some reason. All I have to do is say slash effect, give at E, and at E, or at E is pretty much saying give er, all entities, but we don't want all entities. We want to just give the pigs. So now I'm going to type in um, bracket or square bracket type equals pig, and then you're going to type in another bracket, and now you choose the effect. So I said I want to give these pigs um, jump boost just because we'll give it to them forever. And we'll just say um, intensity, let's give them 10 jump boost, we'll say true so we don't see the particles. And now when they start to jump, like that pig just went flying and they will take fall damage if they fall any farther than the distance that they jumped from. So yeah, that looks absolutely insane. There are also quite a few bad effects you can give yourself, like for example, nausea, which I just typed in the exact same command. I just put nausea. I gave, I'm giving it to myself for 20 seconds and it's intensity, oof, number 50. So I have this for 15 more seconds. And as you can see, it's like, I'm just drunk. It looks absolutely, ins oh, that actually looks really cool. Oh, I can't even see what's going on right now. So yeah, that's going to last for about another five seconds, but there are some pretty cool and crazy effects you can give yourself doing this. There's actually one last thing I wanted to show you guys before I ended off this video and that is that you can use the slash effect command in command blocks um, just if you ever wanted to. So all I did in here is I said exact same thing but this time I put levitation but notice I put it so it's gonna I put just at E. So as soon as I pull this lever every single entity in the world that I can see anyways is gonna start levitating forever. So now if I just you know pull this lever here here we go we are now flying and um, I actually didn't think this through. How am I going to get down? Or how am I going to get these pigs down? Because I kind of said it forever. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and suggest some more future commands you want me to post. Now, to get rid of all this, of course, you can just say slash effect, uh, clear at E, and boom, all the pigs are now going to die.
Goodbye.